Welcome to this week's Video Insight. One of the most important aspects of active funds management is our ability to change the exposures in our portfolio depending on the risks and possible future re rewards we see at the time. We can increase or reduce the portfolio's exposures to particular industries at different times depending upon where we see opportunities. Similarly, we can change our geographic and currency exposures. We can also ratchet up and down our exposures to individual businesses we own. For example, if the stock price on one of our businesses increases materially, then chances are we will trim that position unless we have learned something new that leads us to believe the business is now worth more than we previously thought. In the same way, if that stock price declines materially, then chances are we will be buying more shares at the lower price unless we have learned something new that leads us to believe the business is now actually worth a lot less than we previously thought. In making these changes at the stock level, the net market exposure of our portfolio in the aggregate typically increases when stock markets fall and decreases when stock markets rise. And this can be a key source of value add for our clients when performed consistently over time. Now let me illustrate what I mean. First, let me show you a chart of the net market exposure of our Montica Global Equity Long Short Strategy. Montica's net exposure to the market is shown in the red dots over time. And to give some context, I have superimposed these red dots on the S&P 500 index over the last 18 months or so. Now what you can see is that broadly speaking, when stock prices increase, Montica's net exposure is reducing. And when stock prices decrease, such as in the final months of 2018, we were buying more shares and increasing Montica's net exposure. Now I'm sure you'll agree this all looks logical, but it really is not easy to put into practice. Remember, to put this into effect, we have to be selling stocks when markets are rising and everyone is feeling comfortable, and inevitably will sell too early in some cases. And then we have to be buying stocks when prices are falling like they were in December, going against all the fear that permeated the market at the time. But this is what our investment process leads us to do. And this is why it is so important to have a clear investment process that is followed with discipline through all market conditions. Similarly now, let me show you the cash weighting of our long only global strategies as represented by the Montgomery Global Fund and our ASX quoted Montgomery Global Equities Fund under the ticker MOGL. In this case, you can see the cash weighting increases when stock prices rise and then it falls when stock prices fall as we deploy the fund's cash into buying shares at cheaper prices. The concept is exactly the same as what is applied in Montica. Once again, active management is all about being active in the right places of the portfolio when it makes sense. Changes to the portfolio's exposures at different stock price levels is one of the most basic yet important aspects of active funds management.